Hi loves, annyeonghaseyo. This is Ava from Glow with Ava and welcome to my channel today. I'm so happy to have you guys here today for this exciting video and it's one of my most highly requested video on the best of tinted moisturizers. And if you guys know me at all, like I test hundreds of tinted moisturizers. That's like my favorite beauty category because I really try to lean on to not wearing foundation and testing tinted moisturizers that have the skincare benefits but also give me a little bit of tint that makes me look more lively, radiant, and brightens up my skin. So after years and years of testing out so many tinted moisturizers, I have gathered together my top five tinted moisturizers. So are you guys excited to see which has made the cut? To make things easier, in today's video, I didn't include any BB creams or CC creams or light foundations, although there are plenty of foundations out there that feel and look more like a tinted moisturizer. For categorization purposes, today I'm only including ones that are actually called a tinted moisturizer, but make sure to subscribe and also be on the lookout for my other videos that where I talk about you know the best and worst of skin tints and the lightweight foundations. This topic is where I bring the most value because it's something that I really, really love and use on a daily basis. Also, with most tinted moisturizers, they do have SPF, but I do want to remind you that this should not replace your daily SPF or even moisturizer, especially if you have drier skin. Um, make sure you have a layer of moisturizer, SPF, and then you wanna go in with these tinted moisturizers, all right? So with that, let's start. And these are in no particular order, by the way. The very first one is the Sisley one. This one is a very underrated one, in my opinion. Not a lot of people talk about it, I'm not sure why. Maybe it is because of the price tag. It does have a pretty heavy price tag. However, I feel like Sisley products in general just work so well for my skin. And out of all the five tinted moisturizers I'm discussing, this one is the one that has the most luxurious and beautiful finish and the skincare ingredients are top notch. So this is one that I really feel like it's skincare and makeup truly combined in one and it's got the most natural velvety finish. It's literally skincare with a veil of color. And because of how luxurious this feels on the skin and looks on the skin, this one is the one that makes me look the most polish. It's actually the one that I'm wearing today on my skin and the coverage is actually very buildable. The coverage is not very high in the very beginning um, but once you kind of build it on you can get to this level. This is after two layers I have this one on but two very very light layers. Um, I will say that the fourth ingredient in this one is titanium dioxide so for some people you may see a little bit of white cast building on in the very beginning but give it a few seconds to a minute and the white cast is going to completely warm up to your skin tone. For me the white cast is not visible but kind of looks more like a pinkish tone up cream which I absolutely like because I feel like that actually brightens up the skin tone in my face. So for me I love the natural satin finish that I get from this. It's just like a beauty booster and perfect for like no makeup makeup days. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin and as for skin types I think all skin types can use this which is like the beauty of this one because it doesn't give you like any kind of like oily greasy feeling but also it doesn't feel dry at all because I feel like with a lot of tinted moisturizers some of them can be either on the dry side or some of them are too creamy and oily however with this one it's pretty long lasting I can wear for the entire day no really need for powder either I've done a wear test on this um, and it just like is very long lasting perfect for all seasons as well so that's why I just wanted to like talk about this because I don't talk about the tinted moisturizer enough but this is something that I truly want to reach for all year round whatever my skin condition is. Second is the NARS tinted moisturizer. This one is my little baby. It's been in my collection for the longest time ever. It's probably like my first five Sephora purchases as well. I'm sure they've gone through reformulations and I've lived through them all, lived through the different shades. I'm actually using the Mykonos one. I believe this is a new shade. I got it um, a couple of months ago. And this one is the one that I use for the summertime, but in the fall or winter when it gets a little bit colder, that's when I go in with lighter shades. So trust me, I have like all the different shade ranges to 
have by my side all year round. As you can see, I have the Light 2 Alaska for me to use when my skin is a little bit paler. And then for summer months, I use a Mykonos. Sometimes I'll even mix the two of them. And I think out of all of the ones I'm discussing today, this one is probably the most versatile because it does have more of a coverage in my opinion. Honestly, it does have like the highest coverage out of the ones I'm discussing. For me, it's pretty high coverage. Some people have said like, it's like me, eh, okay coverage. Like for something that I'm looking for, it's pretty medium to full coverage. And because it's all so buildable, I'm telling you if I build this up carefully, I can make it to a full coverage foundation with this. That's why I'm saying it's very, very versatile. As for skin type, I would recommend this to people with more combination to oily skin. I've tried this on like super, super dry skin in the winter when I have dry patches. And I feel like if you apply this on dry patches, it can actually make it accentuate even more. So definitely try to use it a little bit more in the summertime when your skin is like more oily. However, it doesn't have like that greasy feeling to it either. The, the lasting power is very great and it also has SPF 30, so slightly more of a higher coverage. But once again, don't replace this with your actual sunscreen too. It has some skin friendly ingredients like vitamin C in it. So that helps to kind of brighten up the skin tone at the same time. It's like one of my ride or die since I'm moisturizer, but it's not something that I reach for like every single day because the coverage is slightly higher than what I want for like an everyday basis so if i want more of a higher coverage like a foundation kind of coverage then that's when i will go in with this one and with most tinted moisturizers this can be applied beautifully just using your fingers you can use a brush as well but i like the overall finish when i use just my fingers and a lot of people say this is more of like a matte finish for me it really isn't like a matte finish it's more of like a very nice um satin finish it's not dewy it's not glossy but it does still bring out a lot of like luminosity to your skin. I like the fact that it's not too matte and that's why I think it's very versatile. The third one is another luxury brand one and it's from Chantecaille. This one is something that I've been using for a little over a year now. I really like it and this one is something that really prioritizes the hydration aspect of it and making sure it's a true moisturizer because just like the NARS and other ones it's not quite entirely something that can replace your moisturizer, but the Chantecai one, I'm going to say this can replace your moisturizer, especially if you have oily skin. But that's also the downside of this one because it does have a very lovely, luxurious, like creamy texture to it. It glides on so nicely, but it is infused with a couple of oils that give it the creamy texture. But for people with oily skin, especially if you're using it in the summertime, it may be a little too oily for your skin and it's definitely not going to last all day. So this is something that I'll recommend, especially for my friends with dry skin because it does go nicely on your dry patches and it does still leaves a very like luminous radiant finish to your skin. For me, my favorite part about this is that it's not your typical foundation. It's taking a very different approach to foundation that gives it the texture and look of a foundation, but really more hydrating and moisturizing for the skin and gives a most like natural finish, right? So when you first apply it, that's when you'll be like, oh my God, this is insane. But with this one, I always try to go in with powder so that it's more long lasting because it tends to darken a little bit over time as well. That's something that I did notice. So just be aware of that. But unlike the Sisley one, this one also contains titanium dioxide, but you don't see any of the white cast um, with this one, probably because it does have a little bit more pigment to it. And also another thing that I love about this one is that I even apply under my eyes and because of the creamy formula, it doesn't lead to any creasing under my eyes, which is huge. So really truly on my no makeup makeup days, I'll just go in with this one under my eyes as like a concealer too. And it just provides the perfect amount of finish that I want. Fourth one, you guessed it, it is the Laura Mercier one. I feel like everyone in the world has tried this product and they love it. And I have to be honest, I didn't like the original formula as much, but after they reformulated this a couple of years ago, I tried it and I actually really like the new formula a lot better. So thank you for reformulating it. This one is one that is 
the least coverage out of the five that I'm discussing today, but it's once again buildable. And what I like about this one is that it kind of like adjusts to your skin tone. So it's great for days when you don't want that much coverage, but something that will kind of like even out your skin tone and give a little bit more of a dewy sand finish. That is exactly what this is going to do. I love the shade ranges that comes with this one. I love the fact that it is SPF 30. I love the overall packaging and I have it in shade Cameo. It's a little light too, but um, I always go with like different shades just like I do with NARS. Sometimes I mix the shades up too. And maybe because it doesn't have a strong coverage and pigment to it, what I found about this is that it doesn't darken or change color over time, over days at all. It kind of like just like stays within your skin and stays one with your skin. That's what I love about this one. And if you want something that is a little bit more illuminating together, I actually love using this one with an illuminating like primer like this one. So I know this is a primer, but honestly, you can use it as a highlighter. I actually have that on my face as a highlighter, just like around here too. Sometimes I'll even mix the two to give a really nice like dewy finish because this one isn't like too drying or oily. It's great for all skin types too. So I feel like when I want a little bit of more of an oomph, like dewy glow for the summer everyday look, this combo is great. And the last one, we are going to be talking about the Fenty. So this one is the newest um, skin tint in my collection. And I know this is called like a skin tint, but since it has a tint in it, I'm just going to call it a tinted moisturizer. It's their eavesdrop. They're, they were like sold out in my color, so I had to wait a little bit. And I actually fell in love with this at first sight. And it's, it's hard because this just like feels like a filter on my face. It's hard to describe exactly what this does to your face. So you guys can see in this overlay, the before and after the half and half of my face, but this truly like is blurs out your skin, just like the name suggests. And usually if you want to completely hide out your pores on your cheeks and your nose, I have to go for a heavier foundation to achieve that. But the fact that it can still achieve that like poreless, satin look with the skin tint is incredible. And this one does exactly that. With this one, I actually love using more of my beauty blenders or my brushes than just my fingers, just because I wanna like really get in there and achieve that flawless finish with a beauty blender. I think with fingers, it's a little like um, thicker of a texture to achieve that look and I feel like there can be more streaks compared to if you use something with a very light coverage. So yes, compared to like the NARS, these are similar coverages, but this one feels slightly, like not heavy, but like a little bit more coverage than the NARS. Um, but I still really like it for that lived in look. It kind of like absorbs really nicely into the skin, becomes one with the skin. I'm obsessed with this one, like, and the shade ranges, it's Fenty Beauty. Say no more, it's perfect. As for skin types, I think this is better for people who have combination to oily skin, but honestly, even with dry skin, if you want something that's a little bit more matte finish, I know a lot of people who are looking for the matte finishes for dry skin, but it's hard to find. If you're that person, then try using this with a beauty blender. You're still gonna get that beautiful, beautiful finish. I hope this video was informative. I love doing these like best of series and I hope this is more of like a casual conversation because I can talk about tinted moisturizers literally all day long. So make sure to subscribe to my channel here below and also follow me on Instagram and TikTok for more best of natural makeup looks like this. Thank you so much for watching guys and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.